Hi guys, this is Ancestral Owl Messages with the full moon, full wolf moon read for the collective sign of Virgo. So, full moon is tonight, looks beautiful. I hope each of you can see it outside. Alright, so let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Virgo. For this, their full moon, full wolf moon, read for January 28th or whenever they're led to this message. In Jesus' name, amen. Energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. And what do you need to release, waning moon? Well then, we got bookends. Waning moon and waxing moon. And in the center, two new moons. Okay. Bookends. There is something about the two new moons in the center here. I believe the next new moon will be around the 14th. I think it'll probably be like the 12th. Then 26th of February would be full moon. Around the 10th or 11th, maybe? No. 10, 12. Be about the 12th. Of March is the second new moon. Aha. Uh -huh. So the first new moon is in reference to the previous new moon. Okay. And this next new moon shortly after. You're working on something, getting finances in order, saving up for something, trip maybe, I don't know. But I would look, if you're, if you've been working on something, I feel like it's financial. Because prosperity could also mean, spiritual prosperity could mean emotional prosperity. I feel like this is finances though. By the next new moon, whatever you're working on, saving up for, I would give it until the next new moon. Maybe a raise at work. There's something about finances here. Druid, hold the space. We'll get to the details of each card in a second. Um, my hands are cold, so it's hard to shield maiden, maiden, make plans and focus. Yeah, this is about finances. I think it's, I feel like it's both though, like a relationship, but fi no, it's finances. Wise one, grow within your current situation. Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Direction Guardian, choose your path. Right. Next, New Moon. I feel like it's finances. Now, Hold the Space talks about relationships, but it's also about 
this is about holding space for yourself. Almost like, and I keep getting this, this was my, every year before the new year, I get a scripture. Like I find a scripture and that's scripture I lay, or I stand on, lay on. Oh, I still can't English. I stand on for the year. This year it was, um, it's in the book of Psalms about expanding my tents. And the, the meaning behind the scripture is that you ask for your dwelling to expand to give more room for the blessings, the financial blessings that are going to come in. That's what I feel like with this, holding the space. And it, it has to do with finances. Prosperity could be spiritual, emotional. It's not that. And I feel like this is tangible resources, almost like a new place to live. And you're trying to figure out which direction to go in. I would say this next new moon is when you're going to have those answers. Because there's still lessons that you need to learn in the place that you are. A friend of mine, before she... She worked at her job for a good 30 years or more, I think. The moment that it was time for her to go, she said that she could feel the grace of God lifting. And it had lifted for like a year. Like it, the last year that she worked there, it, the grace of God had lifted right before like the last year that she worked there. Um, and the grace of God is um, basically it's like a protective thing where um protect your space you make the right kind of connections like it, god will bring you the people that will work with you and cooperate with you and work as a team with you and as soon as that grace lifts it's time to go this is a new job Because you don't feel like you're making enough money where you're at. Or there's something. You're looking for another job. And the ancestral patterns. Talks about finances. It can talk about many things. But I feel like here, when it comes to finances, there was something that... I don't think it was learned. Learned through example, maybe? And you're looking for a job to where you can actually be comfortable. You're looking for a place that fits you because this all goes together in one, I feel like. Um, basically moving but cutting those, healing the ancestor, ancestral patterns where you felt like you had to stay in one type of job because you're expanding your resume, I feel like. Learning new things, that way you get a better job. Maybe it's an office job maybe, administration. I would say by the next new moon, you're going to have answers with that. That and it's about moving. Like you're willing to relocate for this job. But I would give it until the next new moon or shortly after. And remember the energy of new moon, energy of the full moon, three days before, three days after. Pull a few Crow Tarot by MJ Quillini. Because I feel like somebody told you that you could only work like the, the best jobs to work in was only like one area and now you're expanding out. You still have lessons. See, that's the center card, the center one, which means this is the main thing that's going to determine 
moving forward. You still have lessons to learn in this current cycle that you're in. There's something still in this current job that you have. It's like loose ends of being tied up. You still have slight growing to do before you leave there. But this is about not only new job, but relocating to the job. And you feel like you're taking a chance with it because you don't feel like you're qualified for it. And I feel like you're overqualified for it. But just look at it as, like I said, expand your tents and hold that space, mental space maybe, spiritual space, almost like you already have it. Claim it, that's what I just heard. Claim that the job is yours, claim it. Hold the space, make plans and focus, Protecting your energy. Don't tell anybody about this. Grow within your current situation. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Don't, okay, if someone, if you grew up with this belief that you have to have a certain type of job in order to retire, whatever. See, I'm part of the generation where my parents had taught me, and like it was the belief system then, that, um, you stay in one job for your entire life, and then when you retire, they'll take care of you. We'll see a lot of the places that they had stayed in the jobs, there wasn't any work. The place is shut down, that type of thing. So that generation really started this new, like an, um, hold on one second. I'm not sure what that was. knew I heard something and dropped this tablet. Okay, like I was saying. Um, I believe that when it comes to the ancestral patterns, like I was saying, um, the previous generation before mine really started this, what was it, like an evolution evolving from what the previous generation had taught them about getting into one job, staying there, and then when all the, um, there were factories that were closing when I was a kid that, you know, then my generation was taught, well, you can have, because we were living longer, you can have more than one career in your lifetime. This is basically about thinking outside the box, not staying in that limitation that you can only do one type of work. If you actually look at, if you write down, take your resume, write it down, you have more skill sets than what you think. I was stay at home mom for 10 years before I went back to work. When I was in college, I was online college before then, we had to give a description. We had to um, basically write a resume. Describe yourself, write your resume. I wrote, the first thing was, wife and stay-at-home mom. A friend of mine yelled at me for that. She said, no, 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 no. You're not looking at it the right way. You are a manager because you manage people. You manage finances of the house. And she started listing all the skill sets. There's many more skill sets that we have than the jobs that we've had. Because you also have life skill sets. And this is just talking about um, the reason you're still in this place that you are. Still lessons need to be learned. But you have to think, you have to expand your box. Think outside the box, but expand it at the same time. You have skill sets that can't fit into that box. Take those into consideration when you write your resume. When you go for jobs and management and... Um, because 
the world we're living in now is evolving there's change and that's five of pentacles right there yep i won't be surprised if it comes out because you also have to change your mindset too if you're thinking that if you're in this poverty mindset that you're always in lack just um, you really have to rewire your brain for that too and just really look at it as don't stay in that mindset release the negativity of that where you can't make the bills got to do this got to do that and you're looking for another job or a better job um, because if you stay in that lack mindset all you're going to call in is lack. So let's pull a few tarot here and see what's going on. Three of Swords. Heartbreak, disappointment, fool. Wanting to jump out in that new beginning. Knight of Wands. Fire Energy. Page of Swords. Three of Wands. There's another three. Another bookcase. The book ends. Three and three. Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. Page of Cups. Two pages here. King of Wands. Two came out. Eight of Swords. And Eight of Pentacles next to each other. There's a play on the numbers here tonight. Eight and eight. Biblically, the number eight is new beginning. Okay, so let's take each of the cards here. Three of Swords, heartbreak and disappointment. Are you in a job now? Oh. If the current job you're in, you took the job with a promise of advancement, and now it's being blocked that would cause the disappointment because I'm almost it's almost like I'm hearing somebody argue with themselves not even argue with themselves like not complaining either venting I hear the venting I left a good job to go to this one with the hopes of advancement now I get in there and get grounded in there and there's no advancement like everything they promised me they're not delivering now you're looking for another job and I feel like there's a better one out there and you keep kind of tiptoeing around it but you don't think your skill sets are quite there yet and they are that's that ancestral pattern of staying just in like the same type of work but you have to look at your skill sets a different way. Because I feel like if you wrote it down, you could see that you have more there than what you think you do. Because you're ready for a new beginning elsewhere. And I think you have your, I really feel like you have your eye on this opportunity. Knight of Wands. This is, the wands are words. Are you rehearsing, like rehearsing in your head what you're going to say to them? Like everything? Almost like going through your resume in your head. Okay, if you're going through your resume in your head, I'm still feeling like you have holes in it. Like there's more there than what you're including. Because you're thinking that these little things aren't part of your skill set, and they are. Page of Swords. Pages are messengers. Swords of thoughts, that's action. I feel like this is a message that's going to come through about this job. Three of wands. And the threes were bookends. You go from 
disappointment in the previous place of employment to three of wands and three of wands I feel like here because wands are words like I said but I feel like wands is almost like you're not in low management but it's almost like middle management because this is Almost like you're at the second place here, like the middle, and you have to give instruction down and instruction or um, reports up, instruction down. And that's you're being divinely guided to this job, and you're going to think that you're not qualified for it, but it's going to be wish, wish fulfillment that's not of cups. That's the wish fulfillment card. Page of Cups, this is new inspiration, this is, um, it's almost like getting a love for something new that you're doing, love and appreciation for it, because like I said, pages are messengers, they're also students, King of Wands, this is, um, I always look at it as the Aries card, this is, um, Passionate, Teaching? Teaching. Hmm. Teaching. Is that the new opportunity? King of Wands knows how to use their words. And they use it where it's like fiery, passionate, flirtatious, but it's this social energy. Drawing people in, getting people to listen to you. And then last two cards, like I mentioned, eights. There's a play on the numero numbers tonight, numerology. Um, eight of swords. It's almost like you're in this mindset to where, no, I can't do this. Like you're blocked in. But this is what this is. It's just... You're just blocked in because you're blocking yourself in. You're limiting yourself. And Eight of Pentacles is working on yourself. This is um, going back to school, learning something else. I feel like it's teaching, though. The Chariot, Fast Movement, Page of Pentacles. There's another page. And Queen of Swords. Chariot. Fast movement. Page of Pentacles. Learning something new about yourself. Learning something new. Yeah. Th this goes back to working on yourself. Learning a new skill set. But I feel like you're... You have to expand the way you look at your skill sets too. But this is learning something new. It's being that student. And Queen of Swords, taking control of your life. Taking power of your life back. Almost like you allowed someone to dictate. You allowed someone else to dictate what you're going to do. Now that you don't have that, and you're looking and saying, you know, I'm not happy with where I'm at. What's on the bottom? High Priestess. That's intuitively knowing that your direction goes elsewhere. Okay, let's pull a few Goddess Dream Oracles. Get that Divine Feminine Energy of the Full Moon. Direction. Where are you heading? That's funny. That's so funny. Imagination. Let your dreams take flight. This could be something that you've want, been wanting to do. And someone was in your life and trying to hold you back. I don't feel like they're in your life any longer. So if that's the direction you're going, and if that's the direction you're heading, I'm telling you, choose that direction. 
If that's where you are being led, letting go, emotional release. And there's complaining about this too. Not complaining, but venting. Because the other person that is no longer in your life had said to do this and had led you there. Awareness, look beyond what you see. Yeah, you have to get a different view of yourself and your skill sets. And look at it for from this, and I like how these two, look, how these two cards just kind of go together. Choose your path and awareness. Be aware, see this is what this card is leading to. Be aware of that pathway and opportunity that's right there and opening to you. Maybe this is teaching other people. Whatever it is. Just feel like you're changing direction. Change the direction. Go where your heart is leading you. Because there, that wish fulfillment just pay attention to that rope. And even ask yourself why you chose the, the career path maybe or the job that you have now. Why you chose it and why you allowed someone else to kind of take control over that. Because I feel like you're taking control of your life back. But that's going to be part of the healing too. Maybe that's the last lesson you need to learn. Patience. White Monte Cristo. Monte Casino, Yellow Pansy. <sighs> Sometimes with my glasses, yeah. Get one off the bottom for another blessing. Gratitude, Bluebell Brimstone. Yeah, be grateful for the lessons you've learned at this current job and this current vocation. But you have many more life skills. Like you have more to add on your resume than this. And I feel like you're limiting yourself with the, you know, basically with the search should expand it just a little bit more. Okay, for the collective sign of Virgo, this is your full moon read. I hope this helps. Full wolf moon read from January 28th. Love and light.